So these are the hard drives I'm going to be using for today's video. They're all Seagate Barracuda drives. I bought them because they're very inexpensive and they have pretty fast high read and write speeds. Ranging from about like 200 megabytes per second read and write. So on the left we have a 3 terabyte and the rest are all 1 terabyte hard drives. Um, I have a 3 terabyte because that's going to be my backup drive and these three are going to be my RAID drive. I'm going to put them in RAID 0 which is going to give me SSD like performance which is perfect for me because I edit 4K video a lot. And not just regular 4K, I'm talking 4K raw footage which is ranging around 550 megabytes per second which is insanely fast, like really, really fast. So with three of these drives, I'll be able to get around 600 megabytes a second, hopefully. We'll see in the end of this video. All right, so you might be wondering, how am I gonna fit four hard drives into this small mid-tower case? There is actually two hard drive slots up there, but that's not gonna be enough for my four hard drives. So what I did, I went out and bought a five and a quarter inch bay connector which is this it uses up two five and a quarter inch bay slots and it actually has a fan built into it so it's going to keep my hard drives cool and allow them to be stored there so this is the adapter we're going to be using it actually fits three three and a quarter inch bays but Based on the small 85 millimeter fan in there, I'm not going to put three in there because I'm afraid that they'll just run too hot and be stacked right up on top of each other. That's just not safe in my eyes. So I'm going to put two in here and two in the original slots of my computer. And that should be good for me. It should be nice and cool. So to install these hard drives, all you need is a bunch of little screws like this and you just put it right in the little holes that the enclosure has built in. I'm going to put one at the bottom and I'll put one on these top two holes. So here we go. Just like so. Sadly I don't have a magnetic screwdriver so I have to do it this way. but just like that. You want them to be nice and snug in there so it doesn't move. All right, so I got my hard drives installed in this enclosure. I decided to go with my backup drive on the bottom because I'm barely gonna be using it. I'm just gonna be using it to transfer and unload data for backups. So it doesn't really matter if it gets too hot. I'm just gonna keep it on the bottom. These other three are gonna get very hot during video editing because I'm gonna be, you know, reading off it at around 500 megabytes a second. So I'm gonna want that to be cooled so I have it kind of in the middle of the enclosure. It's gonna have airflow on top and the bottom. So one thing to be cautious of when using a hard drive enclosure like this is making sure you don't push your hard drives all the way up into the fan right here because it could possibly rattle your hard drives and corrupt your data during some file transfers. So just be cautious of that and it should be fine if you set it up just like this. I highly recommend not using three drives in this. I guarantee you your drives are going to heat up even more if, than stacking them on top of each other in a regular you know, hard drive bay that's in most full tower cases. So yeah. Alright, so I don't recommend using RAID 0 as a software RAID because there's a difference between hardware RAID and software RAID. There's With hardware RAID it's like fully set in there and that way you can connect the drives to a different computer and it'll still show up as one drive but if you use software RAID you're going to basically not be able to transfer your drives to a different computer. So once you get everything installed and go through your BIOS settings and get your hard drive set up in RAID 0 you're going to notice that your drive is not showing up in Windows. It's just not there. So you're going to come down here to Cortana. You're going to type in Disk Utility. And I don't know what they call it anymore, but you can just click that. And as you can see, it'll pop up right here. I have three one terabyte drives adding up to 2.7 terabytes in the end. So as you can see, it's unallocated. So we're going to right click it. We're going to click New Simple Volume. You're going to click Next. You're going to make sure 
the simple volume size in megabytes is as high as it can be matching that and click next I sign it a drive letter um, I'm just gonna keep it as what it is drive D I'm gonna click next and here's your format settings you could choose XFAT if you wanted to use hard drives so you could possibly hook them up to a Mac in some way or something like that I'm gonna call my volume label hmm, let's call it RAID yeah I'm just gonna call it the RAID drive and I'm gonna perform a quick format I'm just gonna click next keep that at default boom it's formatting now as you can see once it's done formatting it should pop up right over here ah and there you go RAID 0 drive if you go here you can see I have 2.72 terabytes free so my RAID 0 setup is a success let's do some benchmarks and see what we get Alright, so here's the performance of my RAID 0 array. I'm getting read speeds at about 610, almost 611 megabytes, and write speeds of almost 540 megabytes a second. Um, I'm a little disappointed in the write speed. I was hoping for at least 600 so I could edit 4K raw footage. Um, this will probably allow me to edit 4K raw footage, but not with any effects or anything added. So if you were going to do a build like this, I would suggest just bumping it up to four terabytes that way you get 800 around 800 probably more 700 megabytes or so but still this is not going to be enough to edit 4k or at least 4.6k ursa mini raw footage like i was hoping uh, i will play it back just fine but in order if you wanted to let's say add some lumetri color effects to it or any coloring effects or fading effects that kind of stuff uh, you're gonna want a write speed that's as fast as the footage you're using so I'm quite disappointed in that but other than that I'm pretty impressed by the Seagate Barracuda drives for being only 50 bucks a piece if you buy three of these you can basically get SSD performance with way more storage space for about half the price honestly a, a one terabyte SSD right now is going for about three hundred dollars I bought all these drives together including the backup drive and the three RAID 0 drives for about two hundred and eighty dollars so I have six terabytes basically of storage if I really wanted to you know not back this up and be ballsy about it I could have you know six terabytes of storage that's pretty good and three terabytes of storage to work off of uh, while editing so that's pretty good in my conclusion so I did run into one issue while installing these hard drives into a RAID array and that was that it was trying to add my backup drive into my RAID array with the other hard drives and it wouldn't let me deselect the backup drive in any way so what I did was I shut down my computer, unplugged the power cable to my backup hard drive, started it back up, installed my RAID array, and got it working in Windows, shut the computer down again, uh, and I plugged that power cable back in, booted the computer up, and uh, I noticed it was recognizing the hard drive, but it wasn't popping up here, so I formatted it, and it popped right up just fine. So. No worries on that if you're trying to install three plus uh, extra backup drive like I did. You should have no problems doing that. And that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, just message me personally on YouTube or reach me at the links below.